Welcome, modern steaders. Today, I wanted to share with you the 10 questions me and my wife used when determining if going off grid was right for our family. The first question was, did the property have electricity going to it? And if it didn't, how much would it cost to get the electricity to the house? In our area, that is determined by how far it is and how many poles you need installed. The next question we asked ourselves was, how much electricity do we plan on using? And to determine that, we looked at our current electrical bill to find out what we were using at our old house. Once you know how much electricity you're going to be using, you can then determine how big of a solar system you're going to need. The next thing you got to figure out is how big of a system you're going to need. Once you know how much electricity you use, you can calculate the size of the system you will need. So once you've figured out how much electricity you're going to need, you can determine if you're going to need to cut down on some of your conveniences so your system doesn't have to be too large. So what are some of the conveniences you are willing to give up? We have your chest coolers, your freezers, your internet, wells, those kinds of things. If you need to get a propane refrigerator, what is the expense of a propane refrigerator and how much is it going to cost in propane to run it? Also, how are you going to heat your hot water? Are you using propane for that? And how much is that going to cost? We call the lifestyle we live modern homesteading because we enjoy modern conveniences like YouTube, internet, refrigeration, running water, freezers, tractors, electric fence, electric poultry fence. All those things to us are modern conveniences and that's why we enjoy modern homesteading and not just homesteading. Don't get me wrong, we enjoy being self-sufficient and we are trying to learn as many ways as we can to preserve our foods, especially our meats, so they don't require refrigeration. What are some of the modern conveniences you enjoy that you wouldn't want to give up? Leave them down in the comments below. How do you plan on getting your water? Are you going to lug it in five gallon buckets every time you need it? Does the property you have have a gravity fed spring? Do you have a dug well? And are you going to need electricity to start that well pump? Every time the well pump kicks on, it uses a lot of electricity. What are the electrical rates for your town? Our town has their own electrical company, so our electric rates are half as much as the neighboring towns. So that's a big deciding factor. <laughs> it's a little windy out there. I'm going to duck it behind one of my wood piles. Hopefully it cuts down the wind noise for you too and warms me up while we're at it. Question number nine is, what's your budget? That was one of the big deciding factors for us. As you know your budget, not just for your solar system, but for your whole house build. How much is the system gonna cost you to power up your house and all your necessities? The next question you need to ask yourself is, can I use that money elsewhere when building my modern homestead to get me closer to my dream? We didn't find it feasible while we were building our modern homestead to go off grid. We did take a few steps to get us closer to being off grid and that we can do it later on. One of the big things we kept in mind when designing our modern homestead was this wood stove right here. This runs without electricity and it heats our whole house with natural convection all the time. So when power goes out, we don't need to worry about not having heat. The other thing we did, let me bring you over here, right behind me. It was we installed this disconnect switch. So now if we lose power, we can shut off to the grid, hook up a generator. And when we do have a chance to get some solar panels, we can just disconnect from the system and use our own power that we generate here in the homestead. We do plan on going off grid someday when it's more affordable for us. These are just the questions we asked when we were building our modern homestead to decide if it was in our budget to do it or not. I wanted to share them with you so you guys can ask yourself these questions so you can stay inside your budget when you're building and you don't blow it out of water and get yourself in trouble. What are some questions you're always asking yourself about going off grid or concerns you have? Leave them down in the comments below and while you're down there go ahead give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't and we'll see you right back here next Saturday at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency and freedom.